This is Radio Republic. Uh, I guess locally, I listen, I listen to a lot of, of Dharma Down. And for foreign acts, uh, usually right now it's more of brass bands like Young Blood or the Hypnotic Brass Ensemble. My biggest influence has to be Dave Grohl. And more recently, uh, Quest Love and other hip hop drummers. Mine would have to be like a mixture of a lot of acts, like mostly classic rock bands like Led Zeppelin and um, Jimi Hendrix, and and then more recent ones, Lauren Hill, Erica Badu. It's like very weird mixture. But but mo- my favorite band. That is near our genre would be no doubt. I don't have a particular. Chopin. <laughs> yeah, I, I listen mostly to classical music, but if Sesame I would, <laughs> and Sesame Street. But if I would have to name an artist uh, that has the most influence, probably on my songwriting or our songwriting, it would be. Amy Winehouse. I would say I listen to a lot of Erica Badu. Maybe she's one of those artists when, where they, once you start listening to her, you never really get tired of her music. And I think she's had a really huge effect on my bass playing too. I usually play rock. <laughs> um, um, I, I, but I like alternative, or like Red Hot Chili Peppers in Cubos. And then... And maybe now I changed a little more funky or uh, so. Uh, I also like N.E.R.D. and mm-hmm. other hip hop bands. I think. For me, locally, it would be Blackjack and Andrew E. <laughs> <laughs> With regard to the international scene, I haven't really, I don't have a specific influence, but if you would look at my most played artist, it would be Queen. Locally, siguro, ano, t- uh, 90s, the 90s era, uh, Eraserheads to Parokya. Um, internationally would be, of course, Dave Matthews Band, um, specifically si Leroy Moore, the saxophonist. Um, more recently, siguro, Balance and the Traveling Sounds. Kenny G. Kenny G. Kenny G. Kenny G. Kenny G. 